Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I post a bunch of lifestyle vlogs, day in the life content, and creator content 101 type videos so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. But today I am so excited. So I'm actually trying on some wedding dresses from Lulu's and a couple engagement dresses from Petal and Pup and from Lulu's. This is from Lulu's. My fiance and I are actually getting married on a beach somewhere very nice and warm and it's basically just going to be the two of us. And we're just really excited here in June and we're trying to keep it really inexpensive. I don't want like a crazy ball gown or anything like that. So I'm trying on some dresses from Lulu's. I've only tried on dresses one other time and some of my friends actually took me to Kleinfeld's in New York and that was like a dream because I used to watch Kleinfeld's or say yes to the dress all the time. So that was really fun. But right now let's get into this video and let's do a little try on and I'll link everything down below for you guys, including the sizings, because I did get either a small or a medium. So I'll kind of let you know how they fit. And I even got a pair of shoes. And yeah, so that's kind of the game plan right now. So this first one is actually this cute little romper. It's This one's from Lulu's and it has sequins all over it. I was picturing this for my engagement shoot. We're having a little engagement shoot in Atlanta and this is in a medium and I definitely should have gotten a small. It's a little big and it is supposed to be a deep V but it's a little too much so but it's seriously so cute and it's so comfortable and the waist is stretchy as well which I appreciate because some rompers and dresses it's just really really tight but I'm actually going to be returning this because it doesn't really fit me and I'm not a huge fan of all the sequins but I think it's stunning. I love the sheer arms on this too. I just I think it's really really cute even for graduation dresses so stinking cute. Right here is another dress that I'm thinking for our engagement shoot. It's really stunning. I'm actually wearing these heels that are kind of strappy which I'll show you but I think the fit of this is really really stunning because it really does snatch you in the waist and I just think it's really pretty. I haven't zipped it up all the way, um, but this is a small and it'll definitely fit. I just got too lazy. I love the open neck on this too. And I think the detail on all of it is really, really pretty. And it's actually a really flattering shape. And for being so much lace, this is definitely a contender for the engagement shoot. All right, here is the first option for the wedding and it's actually a jumpsuit, but it's super flowy and I love jumpsuits. I feel like they're more flattering than a dress on me, but it fits really well. This one is a small, but I love the little details here. It kind of has this little sticky thing so that way the sleeves stay up. And I like the little detailing here and it ties in the back. It's definitely really long. I'm like 5'5", five, five, almost 5'6", five, and I'm wearing heels, and it's almost too long in heels. So, it's not bad. I actually really, really like this. I love how... Oh, I'm not getting emotional. It's so cute, though. So, so cute. And also, by the way, if I decide on one of these dresses for the wedding, it's gonna be a surprise. So you also kind of know that these aren't the dress, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's really, it's really pretty. This is actually pretty flattering in here too. And it's pretty stretchy. No pockets though, no pockets. I feel pretty. And also for the wedding, I know that I wanna wear my hair down, probably curled. I'm doing my own hair and makeup for it. Maybe a half up, half down moment, but definitely my hair down. I don't like it like up. I wear it up like all the time. All right, and here's dress option number two, a very, very similar to the other one with the pantsuit and kind of the V neck top. That's why I wanted to try these on kind of back to back. This is in a size small. I feel like this one's extremely flattering, but I feel like I like the other one more because I actually really like the sleeve that was on it, like the very like kind of flirty like fairy sleeve i don't know how to describe it but it was really dainty really cute but this one's still really really nice no pockets again i mean it's a wedding dress it doesn't need to be pockets but really really cute and i feel like this one is a little shorter than the previous one as well in the feet but 
I love all the detail and it's very good quality for, I think these are all under $90. So very, very good quality. And here is the third wedding dress. It's really pretty. So it has the similar sleeves as that first one, but they're a little longer. This is in a size medium and it's definitely too big. Like this should definitely move up a little bit, but not too bad. Um, definitely extremely long because it's not the right size, but it's a dress and it has a little slit in the side, which is really pretty. Um, and then the back is stunning too. It has like a bit of an open back. And if I have a small, it'll definitely have more of an open back because it'll fit it a little bit better. But I really like this one, but I feel like I like the jumpsuits a little more. I like the first jumpsuit probably the most so far, but this isn't bad. Maybe if it was in the right size, but I still just, it's a lot of material actually compared to the jumpsuits. Like there's an extra longer layer on it, but still really, really cute in my opinion. And here's a closer up of the back. I wasn't able to zip it up all the way because it's just me, myself and I right now, but you could also see my tattoo which I didn't really think about, but it's actually fine. I don't mind having that scene. And if I really don't want to I can put makeup over it, it's not a big deal, but really pretty. I love the top of it, but I'm just not loving the bottom. All right, now I'm trying on three dresses slash rompers from Petal and Pup for the engagement shoot. So there's a couple different options. This one is in a size four and I probably would have gotten a six because it's a little short, but it's really, really cute. They have this little tie here and they're actually short, so <laughs> that's a, like, actually really cool, but I wish it was in a slightly bigger size. I like that detailing as well. A really great, great romper, and it would be great for my bachelorette as well, but just it's too small, and so I'm gonna try on another one, And but I'm really excited for the third one. Here is the second dress from Petal and Pop, but unfortunately it's very see-through, so I do not recommend it. But these sleeves are pretty cute. It's very wrinkly right now, but do not recommend this one. <laughs> and here is the last dress option. This one's from Petal and Pop. It's actually a romper, but this is an option for our engagement shoot. It has a really pretty open back. I didn't tie these all that well, but I think this might be the winner. I'll probably have to try on the first lace one for the engagement shoot. Just one more time. It's a very different neckline than I've ever been used to, but I think it's really cute. It's really flattering. I wish I had pockets though, but it's a really just like flowy, nice material. Like it feels like really high quality, but I think it's, <laughs> I think it's really cute. This might be a winner. But that is the end of my engagement shoe and wedding dress kind of haul and try on. We got some really good options here and I'd love to know what you guys think. And I'll leave everything in the description um, with the direct links and the sizes and my recommendations. But yeah, some really amazing dresses and I'm really surprised and all these dresses, like I said, were under $90. So some really good finds as well. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends. Thank mm -hmm. you.